can over optimize my past. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it could do. You know, Well, the British Solicitor General has said that it's a constitutional crisis and who am I to disagree uh, with him? I mean, the truth is that there's deadlock in Parliament and now uh, with the decision of the Speaker of the House of Commons, the Chair effectively of the House of Commons yesterday to say that the May government couldn't bring its proposals back again in their current form for a vote, that creates a sort of deadlock within a deadlock. So it does mean that for the time being, everybody's looking for a way out, nobody can quite see it. So I think that's pretty near a constitutional crisis, particularly with the 29th of March now so close. I think in the end, there are, because there are no rules about ex the exact delineation of how far the speaker can go, it's hard to argue the speaker's gone beyond uh, the boundaries of the role because there are some, no such boundaries precisely defined. So in the end, the speaker is the speaker. And what's happened is the particular circumstances of the deadlock in the House of Commons between the government and various shades of opinion in the Commons means the speaker, as the chair and representative of all MPs, including the opposition ones and ones who are not in the government, that the chair then has, the speaker is the chair, has enormous discretion as to how they use their powers in deciding what happens when. That's always been true, it's just more visible now. Well, it looks as if this week will be a great big anticlimax in the sense that we were expecting uh, the May government to bring its so-called meaningful vote back to Parliament, or at least if it thought it could get it through, which was uncertain. That's not going to happen now, it would appear. So the EU leaders will meet as uh, planned later this week, and that will then determine, on a, an invita on a request from Mrs May, how long, if at all, they're prepared to allow her to extend the Article 50 process, which will itself impact on what happens next week in the UK as to whether somehow the government will try to get its vote back to Parliament or whether in the end something else happens and the Article 50 process is extended or just, there's still just the possibility of no deal on the 29th. Everything's still on the table. I think Berkhoff was applying the rules and I think he's got a case. I think he may have been a little bit mischievous. He may have had his own agenda in there but I don't condemn him for following those rules. I don't think you can bring the same proposal, the same motion, three times to Parliament. Personally, I think it's a good idea. I think it's, um, they're sort of banging their head against a, a brick wall at the moment, and um, I think they've got to move to a resolution, which is a considered one and that actually gets the support of uh, a wider audience than uh, clearly the so-called May deal has got at the moment. I, I have to say obviously that, that that's uh, really surprised me uh, and I um, uh, feel that now it's difficult to see how the government can get its, um, it, its bill through Parliament given the situation that we've got unless of course there is some other obscure rule that can be dug up and in which case we're all back to square one again. My feeling is that um, perhaps we are uh, I think we're talking about constitutional crisis, but I think perhaps we're actually facing a moment of reflection because I think possibly what's going to happen now is that a more significant delay will be required in order for us to uh, take stock and actually then reevaluate where we, we want to go next.